How are we doing today? Uh, Mr. Ramirez, I'm here with a holiday um, activity for us. And this activity has to do with engineering and architecture and building things. And, you know, some of us, you know, we like Legos and things like that. And so um, maybe that will help us or maybe you guys need, you might need to think a little differently. So um, we're going to take a look at work today. We're going to make a, um, it's a gingerbread house, but it's made out of graham crackers. Some of you may have done this before. I don't know, or you may have seen it done, but it's, this is just a general idea. So you know what it is that you're um, looking to try to create. Now, the one I'm going to show um, after I make it, I'm, mine is not going to be as tall. Mine is going to be much um, smaller. So, um, you know, it'll be a little bit different. Um, I have trouble with, um, you know, the shaping sometimes. So I just do my best. I don't try to make things perfect, but I'm, I make it a little shorter. Um, that's just my preference, but it will look basically like this. You use graham crackers for walls and then a roof. And you can see this white uh, looks, you know, like what would, we would call mortar um, if you're building a real home or bricks, which is frosting. So what do we need to make our gingerbread home or graham cracker home, right? Well, we need some graham crackers. So, um, like I said, mine comes out a little shorter because I prefer it that way. Um, it just makes it a little easier for me. So I get some graham crackers. You need four walls and you need to make a roof. So you might need six graham crackers. Um, and you usually, I start them off, I just cut them in half. Um, but if you don't want to cut them in half at first, you want to try to make a different shape, that's fine because this is really all on you. So you're the architect. So my walls are short. My house is shorter. I'm a short person, right? You're going to need mortar or in the case we call it mortar, but it's really frosting. Um, I use just vanilla frosting and everything I got, I actually got from the dollar store. So, um, you know, all together cost me less than $10. Um, and really this is optional. It's only if you would like to do it as an activity, but, um, you know, you have the option. You need something to spread. Um, so I use this plastic knife when, you know, it's not sharp. So you're not gonna, you know, hurt yourself badly. So, you know, just make sure you're using something that's not gonna hurt you. A uh, plastic spoon or plastic fork works also. Okay, so this is the mortar. So using this, I will spread it on the sides. I get the frosting, I spread it on the sides where I'm going to connect the two pieces, right? So we use it best we can. Um, I will show you a piping, like what we call a, a piping that you can make to, to spread, to use the frosting. Um, if I have an extra moment to make it because I don't have um, the plastic wrap, but you can use plastic wrap to make a very easy, you know, you take the plastic wrap and you put frosting and you fold it so that there's a hole in the corner. You could squeeze the frosting on, but I don't like doing that. I just use the knife because it makes it a lot easier for me, okay? Okay. Um, what else do we need? Well, at the end, once you get your structure built, you can use anything, any candies or things that you might have um, around the house to decorate it. So I have a York peppermint patty that may or may not make it onto my, uh, in my home, right? Um, I have some animal crackers that I'm going to put around, okay? M&M's, some, oops, M&M's, some dots, right? To just, you know, colorful, they're different colors. So I could use them to decorate um, the house after to 
make it look um, nice. I have marshmallows, mini marshmallows that I'm gonna use maybe for a snowman uh, to decorate after. But again, it's all in my imagination, right? So whatever it is I choose to do, here we go. So I got a lot of different things that I can use to make and then decorate my gingerbread home. So gather your, um, you know, your stuff, get it all together, and then you can, um, you're not going to follow along because I'm not going to show you um, much. I'm just going to show you my finished product. And if your product falls apart, hey, that's no problem. That's what architecture is about. It's trying to make sure that you do the best uh, you possibly can before you build the actual product. You know, be, they, architects use models before they build a gigantic home or building because they want to make sure it's going to uh, work or be together. So again, the basics, this is just the basics. Graham crackers, right? Like I said, I got these at the dollar store. Gives me two packages inside of graham crackers. If you're gonna do this with your family, um, you may you know, want to have, make sure you have enough graham crackers for everybody, but uh, usually it takes close to six, um, especially when you make mistakes. I have whatever candies and things I can use to decorate the house, okay? And you know, animal, little animal crackers, so I could put them in there as animals or something. And this is the mortar. This is what's going to stick the house together. Now, it won't um, dry right away. It does take a while. So you do have to make sure that your structure is strong enough before you, um, you know, do anything else. So make sure you build a nice sound structure and you've taken your time to do what it is that you uh, need to. I have also some marshmallows that I'm gonna use uh, to so decorate, but it's yours, your imagination. Do whatever it is that you would like to build. I will show you, I will build one um, and then show you my finished product. Uh, not because I want you to steal the idea, but I want you to, um, you know, take a look at something uh, that may, you know, help you to, to do your own. Um, but I don't want to give it all away, so I'll probably, you know, keep you from, from uh, seeing that. But one little demonstration before I go. Right? Open my frosting. The frosting spreads, and some people, like Mrs. Luke said the other day, she said that it's, you know, sometimes marshmallow works good to do that. Okay, but I have found that I can actually... Um, do I can get what I like or what I want, which is the two crackers to stick together. I I felt that I can do that. Uh, make sure your work area is nice and clean. You don't want to put too much frosting. That's the mistake some people I think make. And then I put them together, right? And then you say, look, but Mr. Ramirez, that part right there is you know, sticking out, it's not going to stay together. And I say, no, I put it there where I want. Get a little more frosting. Don't overuse the frosting because that's where I have found people start to get a little trouble. And I have frosting on those two sides. And the trick is I need to put frosting on all parts, so even on the inside piece here. So you don't overdo it by putting all kinds of frosting on the inside and then sticking the crackers together. What I have found is that they go together much better if I do that, right? So I put all three and look, yeah sticks a lot better. And then of course you put it down and then you take your third wall and you do the same thing. 
So it's something that takes a little bit of patience and time. It's not something that you'll be done within about uh, three or four minutes. So get them built, build away. Let me see what you get. Again, I will show you uh, my example. I will build one, show you my example in a separate video. So that way people are a separate place. I might just take a picture or something. I don't want people to, um, you know, cheat themselves by looking at what I do and then copying. I would like you guys to kind of make your own, right? Do what it is that you would like to do. So, you know, candy canes also. Well, candy canes because it is um, winter time and the winter holidays. They have candy canes. I have seen people make candy cane trees, um, you know, that they could use um, around their little home. But, you know, again, show us what you got. Let us see it. And I wish you the best of luck. And I hope that you create and you can show us, you can share with us and show us a nice, beautiful uh, graham cracker gingerbread house. You have a wonderful day. And I can't wait to see your finished products.